participated. And we came out in the second half and really picked it up and performed really well. And I'm happy. So can you talk about that comeback in the third? How did that, how that happen? Um, we came in at halftime and our coach was telling us that we had to pick it up. And if we wanted this, we had to not just want it, but we had to show it and show how hard we wanted it. And I think we really came out and showed that we really wanted this. We worked hard for that. You seemed unfazed going against that Hanks girl and talk about going against her and game you um, It's always tough coming up against somebody that's that female, that's tall, but um, I just tried to not get in foul trouble and go straight up and just make sure I box her out so she can get the awards that she usually gets. And defensively, you guys must have done something on her in the second half. She had eight points in the first half and zero in the second half. Did you change anything? Um, I think we worked on uh, making it so that the guards couldn't get the pass inside, our guards really had to be defensive, so that helped. How about some of your three-point shooters stepping up and knocking down those big shots in the third quarter, um, especially McKenzie? They did awesome, um, especially when I'm getting double teamed in there, then they're open and they really stepped up and made those shots and I'm proud of them. Talk about the free throws that catch you in the game there in the first half when, when Salem kind of broke a lead and then you guys uh, struggled a little bit down the stretch, but were able to stretch, but were able to make enough. Just uh, how big was that to, to make those early in the game? It was huge because uh, our past few region games, we kind of struggled on our foul shots, so we worked on them a lot in practice, and obviously they helped us pull through in the end, so that was good. Possible rematch. Uh, blooming of Skyview wins this one. You guys can meet for the third time this season and you split the yeah. end What would it be like to uh, to uh, play a, a Valley rival for the chance to go to the state championship? Um, it'd be fun. It'd be really intense, that's for sure. I mean, I know a lot of the girls who play club together, so it's an intense rivalry, but they're great people. Would you like another shot? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'd like another chance at Springville, too, though. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, real quick, you guys kind of started out of the gates a little bit slow. Your coach was talking how uh, last season, or from last season, you only returned a few people with experience. And uh, I know the preseason was a little rough, and then you guys kind of uh, took off after that. What's it been like to go from where you started to where you are now? Yeah, I think at the beginning of the season we were like 5-1, and one, and 1-5, one and five, so we were doing very well, and we had a talk, we talked about having a comeback. And I think we really took that to heart, and we've had a comeback. And, I'm excited. You, you and Emily seem to come up pretty big, you know, in these big games. You know, how is it that you, you two are able to, you know, come up big? Um, I think we're the starting seniors, and I think we just take it upon ourselves to kind of step up and help our team in any way that we can. Um, you know, you're going against Melissa, and she has a little bit of a height advantage. Uh, did that pump you up? Did it fire you up for this match? Um, yeah, it's exciting to always play tall, taller people. I mean, I'm not the tallest in post, I'm the tallest on our team, but that doesn't really mean much. But um, it's fun. I think it's a good challenge.